caption it. Miss Wilder, sir. You think you can convince Bart? All right. All right, let me know how it goes. I just left a very busy office, Clay. Make it brief. He's not here, Tess. What? Your beau, Cooper. He's out. I don't appreciate being summoned here like a servant. But you do appreciate the importance of this meeting. Otherwise, you wouldn't have arrived here in less than... ten minutes. I did what you asked. Our business is finished. So you're not concerned about your agency? As much as you are with A.E. Then you'll understand that if you and I are to protect our investments, Gwyn and Jeremy's partnership has to be dissolved. Whoa! Looks like some serious conspiring going on. Should I come back later? Hello. I'm, uh, I'm inquiring about that ad you have in the paper. Oh, yes. My husband's in the office all day long, so my hours are very flexible. Oh, this afternoon? Well, I could see if I could juggle my schedule. Mom, are you in there? It's me. Um, y yes. This afternoon. Late this afternoon will be fine. Right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Stephanie, honey. Well, this is a real surprise. Uh, How on earth did you find me? Uh, I went to the Corinth Towers. Oh, well, yeah, I checked it out yesterday. Yeah, the guy from the courtesy van told me you were here. <laughs> and I was so lucky, I got the last room available. Mom, what are you doing? I am getting my act together and I'm taking it out on the road. <laughs> Surprise! What are we doing here? Shopping. Curtis, you told me you wanted to get together to talk about therapy. I lied. Curtis! <laughs> We've got plenty of time to talk about therapy. And right now, the best therapy that I can think of is getting something really nice for you. You don't have to do that. I know that. I don't want anything. I want, okay? Curtis, we don't live together anymore. Well, does that mean that I can't buy a beautiful gift for my beautiful best friend? I just think we should cut... Hey guys, trucker? We're just shopping. Oh yeah, me too. For someone special? Well, it's uh, it's Mrs. Gondek's birthday. I just wanted to try to get her something kind of special. Oh, well that's nice. She's probably not expecting anything. That's really sweet. Listen, Curtis, I, I just wanted to really thank you. I mean, because you gave Buck a very big break, and um, I, I owe you. You owe me? I mean, I. You know, I, I talked to Diana Lee about it and everything. I just didn't know that you'd go through um, with it. I, I, I really... didn't get a chance to tell you. Tell me what? That trucker called me and asked me to ask you to give Buck the job. I really appreciate it. I do. Oh, I'm, I... just, I'm just glad I could help. Mr. Alden, your order's ready. Uh, you can just wrap it, thanks. Oh, I need you to sign the sales slip. Oh. Uh, excuse me. No, it's my fault. Hand. It's mine. I mean, he seemed more upset. It well, was... I should have been the one to tell him that you called me to ask Buck. Well, listen, maybe it's a good thing it came out. Huh? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I... I really hate keeping secrets. 
how's he doing? I mean, in general. He's better. Yeah? Well, the last therapist didn't really work out, so I told him that I would stay and help him find somebody else that he feels more comfortable with. But, um, things are, are good, I guess. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. I, I hope it works out. I do. Fine. Fine. Thank you. Um, I'm doing a little better. I, I, I just can find Mrs. Gondek this certain thing. I'm, I'm not very good at this. Let me show you something, though. What do you think of that pin right there in the corner? The one with the little diamond on it? Yeah. Is that, is that too much? Well, you know, they say the diamonds are forever. This isn't forever, Chucker. I promise you that. I need this one. Just, I just don't, don't give up on me. Hang in a little longer, please. I am sorry, Mom, but you cannot, cannot live here, okay? Well, honey, I have to live where I can afford. Uh, I've got to face reality and start a whole new life. First thing I got to do is get a job. <laughs> You're going to get a job. <laughs> Isn't it absolutely frightening? If they could see me now, that little gang of mine. You know, actually, I think it is going to be a real challenge. Mom, you have never worked before for anyone in your entire life. Hmm. Well, that's because I have always lived in a fantasy world where all my bills were paid. But now that's all over, and i got to take care of myself. <sighs> oh, honey, you know... <laughs> I was really going to get some flowers and, you know, really Mom, spruce no, up the no, place look, before I even no, ask you. I want you to take this. Just take this and... No, absolutely not. I'm not going to take money from you or Clay or anyone else for that I'm going to talk to Clay. Maybe he'll let you move back into the mansion. Honey, I don't want to. Look, you don't know anything right now. You're sick. You're disillusioned. I don't know, but you can't stay here. Absolutely not. Honey, it's time to, it's time to move forward, not backward. Here? Now, you can understand that. Here, here, oh, here. Oh, sweetheart. This is only temporary. Till my loan comes through. Ah, yes, the loan. Whatever happened to that loan? Oh, just a silly mix-up with my credit. Mom, hmm? you don't have any credit, do you? Will you please let me help you? Honey, I'm not going to be a burden. You're not a burden. You're my mother. Yeah, exactly. I am the mother and you are the daughter. Now, my life didn't turn out exactly the way I planned, but, honey, yours, yours is going to be better than you ever dreamed. Now, let me help you. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. You know, this used to be my favorite bracelet growing up. <laughs> you know what? I remember when you were little, you always wanted to try it on. Yeah. Thank you, darling. Why are you wearing it today? Oh, well, for luck. Which reminds me, I've got to run to an appointment, okay? Oh. Now. Oh, you know what? I forgot all about the money. She never came to clean. Well, I want to help you. Just let me know what I can do. Oh, sweetheart, I couldn't ask you to do that. No, no, I'm offering. Really? Oh, good. Now, when the maid comes, you tell her, change all the sheets. I need two pillows and a light blanket. And you know something? You are an angel. If it wasn't for you, I would be late for this appointment. I'll see you. I was just asking Clay if you were going to be home this afternoon. Well, here I am. What's up? Well, it's a beautiful day outside, and I took the afternoon off. I thought, well, I was hoping that you and I could do something together. Well, why don't we go skinny dipping again? That was fun. Excuse me, Mr. Alden. Uh, the limousine has returned uh, without Miss Brewster. What the foul damn time? Where the hell has she been? She's on an errand, Cooper. What errand? Where? I don't know. Well, somebody ought to tell her that she's not the only one in this house. I have things I have to do, places I have to go. Gosh, I'll draft an in-house memo immediately. Do you know, I had to walk home from school. Huh? huh? Somebody ought to tell her she's not the only one living in this house. I'll add that to the memo. Well, yeah. Listen, i I got to run an errand. Can, can you hold on a couple minutes? Sure. Okay. Well, he seems more concerned with his lack of transport than with... Your little afternoon swim. I hate lying to him. Nevertheless, you do a very good job, Tess. 
But I'm not concerned about that. I am concerned about how you and I are going to get Gwyn back into A.E. This is wrong, Clay. He doesn't deserve to be lied to. Didn't know you cared. Are you blushing? Have you fallen for my young and innocent cousin? You know, he happens to be a pretty terrific guy, and he's not so innocent, by the way. He's 21. Remember that age? You fall in love, what, once a week, twice a week in summer? And don't you just wish you were there again? You're damn right I do. Completely irresponsible time in your life. Well, of course, if you're uh, looking to settle down with, uh, what, kids and a white picket fence... Which I'm not. Story. You're not. Well, now, don't get me wrong, Tess. I'm not trying to imply that you're not desirable. God knows I... I have very fond of memories, even some videotape of a particular evening spent in my limo. Really? That's funny. It didn't make any kind of impression on me at all. Right. Well, I guess you have to concentrate on the thing that gives you fulfillment in your life. Your work. My work is going very well. Yes, it is. It is these days. But if you and Jeremy were to have a falling out, you could lose the agency. And then you'd be sunk without a boat in sight to climb into, right? Not a very pleasant prospect, is it? If you're here for an appraisal, I can assist you. Well, no, actually, um, I want to sell some jewelry. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, I would like to speak to the manager. In private? Okay. Dabs? Dabs? Darling! What a perfectly marvelous coincidence. Oh, I love oh. Well, it's so, it's so nice to see you. It's been ages, darling. Tell me you haven't beat me to the Dior collection. I'll die if you have. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, no. I got sidetracked. Oh, good. Well, Wendell, he's playing golf, as usual. In lieu of his company, I've got platinum. Well, who needs men? Yes. <laughs> Let's go be divinely naughty and just oh, no, fly no, no, everything. Really, really. I'll, I'll meet you up there later, all right? Oh, do no, come really. now, please. Later, oh, come I on. insist. I really oh, Excuse me. Uh, I believe you have some items you'd like to sell? Hmm? Oh, heavens, no, no. I, I have no idea how you got that idea. I'm going to you come Oh, no, 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 no. This is a mistake. A mistake. No, I'll, I'll call you. Well, my really, I will. My assistant told me you had a bracelet. Oh, no, no. I, I, I said to your girl that I had some jewelry that needed to be appraised because of insurance purposes. But, I mean, obviously, I came to the wrong place. A wonderful choice, Mr. Allen. Your wife will love the earrings. They're one of a kind. We always keep them locked in the display. Joe told me he dropped you off here. I, I was amazed. So why don't you go home now and be unamazed? No. Is this your day job? Any chance? If you don't have anything better to do than follow me around, then I think you should get a wife. Looks like Mommy Dearest is don't call cleaning her that. windows and scrubbing floors. And scrub why don't you go play with your trust fund? Steffi. Steffi, listen. I am not listening. She's dragging you down. Sooner or later, she's going to sink and pull you down with her. Maybe it's time you learned how to swim. Not that it's any of your business, but my mother's trying to put her life back together. And I offered to help. She didn't ask me. 
Well, I'm sorry, but it occurs to me that your mother is... I am not interested in your opinion. She's a schemer, and she's obviously I scheming something. Love her. Well, she's using your love to get whatever it is that she wants. You know nothing, Cooper. You only care about yourself. I care about Tyler and Allie. Yes, when it's convenient for you. But you've never had to give up anything. You've never lost anything. You've never had to put anyone before yourself. I would, Ever. I would never become someone's servant. I am not. It's not someone. It's my mother. And I'm not going to abandon her. Okay. You know, they say you get back what you give. They do say that. Yes, they do. And you're very good at giving your opinion and just walking away. But you're headed for a very dark, very lonely life, and I couldn't give a damn Cooper. say that to me before. Excuse me? Well, of course, I'd love to tell you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the most divine little black and white suit with the tiniest little, most gorgeous buttons you've ever seen and a gorgeous black hat and your damn shoes in leather and low pump. Hello? Hello? It was fine. Don't stop playing on my account. Now I gotta get back to the office. Oh, I thought we were gonna go swimming this afternoon. You said they had the day off. Yeah, something came up. Well, I'll come with you then. No, it's just boring business stuff. Oh, no. You're not gonna become a boring businesswoman, are you? Oh, no. Is that how you see me? No. No. The question is, is that how you see yourself? Well, it depends on my mood. No, 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 no. See, you're either the grumpy grown-up person or you're living fast and out on the edge pushing the envelope. Yeah, personally, I'd like to do both. And I happen to think that if you have the right person, you know, you can have it all. Oh, really? Well, while you're waiting for that right person, I was thinking maybe you and I could cause a little bit of trouble. What kind of trouble? Belden Pond, tonight. We've already done that. That was phase one. You see, what I have in mind for phase two is something much more complex. It requires, uh... Let me show you. It's the, the kissing of water droplets off the nape of your neck. Oh. Like this. And then, I bite it. Oh, I hate you. Oh. Mm, good. You're a bad influence on me. Yeah, but I'm, you know, too young to know the difference. Come on. I was 
just a picture. I saw the picture in the cage. I just... It was staring at me. Yes, I'm going to get a doctor. I'll no, right no, here. no. Don't. I, I just want to get out of here. Come on. Can, are can you, you take are you me sure? home? Yes. Just, please, this is embarrassing. Just take me home. I'll come with you. No, don't. I mean, it'll be okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take you home. This is Denise Koch. What happens when your life is shattered by a drunk driver? I'll show you where the story goes tonight at 6. Next, Curtis plays on Dinah Lee's Sympathy. But is it enough to keep her from trucker? Stay tuned for All My Children.